right quick like we're going to kind of show you some turkey 101 after the hunt on really how to kind of take apart your turkey um if you're a turkey hunter then and you shot a lot of turkeys then probably you already know how to breast a turkey but we've been getting a lot of hits on uh, social media people asking you know how do i breast out a turkey how do you prepare them so i'm gonna go step by step on some of the things we do or i do uh, when i take care of my turkey uh, one is check this out this is a brand new bone collector rebel it's got the Havilon blade on it that really super sharp but we're just going to use this because to be honest with you i don't need something super sharp but um pretty simple um obviously a turkey has got great meat on it it's got, got both dark meat and it's got white meat um so there's a lot of different ways you can go about it but for me the main thing i want is the breast meat so turn the turkey upside down i like him his legs facing me and you'll notice right here, a lot of people think that this featherless spot is when turkeys are breeding. That's actually not true. A lot of times these turkeys roost, they'll set their, their uh, breastbone down and they wear those feathers off because, you know, they're sitting there on a, basically knocking the feathers off when they're up there roosting. So just one small incision and then you can get it similar to a fish and you just pull that skin back. Then I'll just take the legs. You want to pop them basically right out of socket just like that and then you'll notice you just got the skin it just pulls out pull it all the way back as far as you can get it back to the wing butt on both sides and what you'll find here you can make sure to pull all these little pin feathers off as you do it and then you'll just have the breast meat right there all I do at this point is just take your knife don't have to be crazy sharp. Just go right around that breastbone and I just fillet, fillet them out like so. Just come right on down. You'll see his crawl. Just go right down that breastbone. And you look, there's the tenderloin. That is the best cut of meat that you'll ever find. And just come right on down. You'll find just a little bitty like a bone right on the edge of his right here that bone actually you just follow that right down with your knife and just follow it right on down and you'll see you're getting it right against the bone right against that belt breastplate keep going and you're going to get all the way down right up into this wing socket and you'll see it right there just pull that back you can see that right there along his crawl just keep going and all that plays right off you can get all that old fatty stuff and what I like about that if you take your time with it there's not a lot of cleaning you can just pull a few of these little pin feathers off and then what I do even if you're in the field you get a little ziplock bag you can place it in there and it's pretty clean you really even in a situation you don't have a lot of running water that's a clean nice turkey breast to throw right in the bag now all you do is repeat on the second side of this breast that's all you do i'll do that i'll do that next but since i showed you that the next thing i want to show you is a couple things um a lot of times people will think you know cut these turkey spurs off that if you're in the field or you're in a hunting camp you know a lot of times people take a little saw and they'll cut it on both sides of the spur but if you don't have that look or have some equipment just your simple pocket knife just turn the leg on the opposite side find that joint and all you do is you go right there and bend it and cut it right on that joint and then it just pops right off and all you do is just skin and tendons that hold that leg on there's a nice three-year-old turkey this morning obviously repeat that on the second leg and i'm going to show you something else this that a lot of people don't realize here's a nice beard probably a 10 11 inch beard a lot of times people are taking they'll cut that off but a beard is no more than a feather so rather than cut it off when you got that old stinky meat and beef jerky on the end of it all you got to do is grab this beard and just pluck it right off and it comes off just sweet and nice just like that you can pull that beard off it's ready you don't have to put any salt in it it's ready to go one last thing i'll show you obviously everybody a lot of times wants their 
wants their fan. To do this, I'll turn them back over. Grab the fan in your hand like that. You'll notice right here, you'll see right there on his, uh, his bottom end right there, you'll see it. Just take as many of these pin feathers as you want. Just grab a hold to them. Take your knife as so and just cut right along that socket. And just keep cutting. You'll feel it pop. And then cut as many of those pin feathers as you want. If you want to make your nice board, and boom, there it is, you got your fan. So if you don't want your wife, or wives, you don't want your boyfriends or husbands, if you're the one turkey hunting, the only thing I'll do different here is I'll take that knife. You notice you got a lot of excess meat there. Just trim that off really nice. You can tack it to a piece of cardboard or just hang it against the wall. Pin it like that, put a little borax on it, laundry detergent and or salt, and it'll dry right out. But that's the way I break my turkeys down. And uh, all you do is uh, pretty much everything you can do with a pocket knife. We did it all here with this Haviland Rebel and uh, really simple stuff. If you want to take the legs off, you can obviously pop those off too. Uh, I don't eat the legs that much. My grandma used to love to make turkey pot pie. You'll find that a lot of these legs and stuff are very, very tough. And turkeys are leaner in the wild, so you obviously they're not as big. These legs aren't as big as they seem, and they're really tough. But they are good if you want to boil them down for a stew or turkey pot pie. But I'll be honest with you, I don't even eat them. I just eat the breast. So I hope this is a little help you when you're out there in the field and you want to break your turkey down with just a pocket knife. That's all you need.